the shows and the tours, they want to come here. So they'll, they'll seek me out and we will be talking to them years in advance. Instead of trying to pull teeth to get them to come here, we have a great relationship with those, uh, with those tours to come to Spokane. I've got shows on hold to come to this market in 2025 right now. So we usually are two to three years out when we are looking to route a major tour like this to Spokane. The Best of Broadway has been around here in Spokane for 35 years. We have a great track record of selling shows, of embracing shows, of, of, of embracing these tours. And bottom line, it's a business. It takes an awful lot of money to keep a tour like this, 13 semi trucks and 100 cast and crew on the road, you know, week in, week out, month in, month out. Uh, and those dollars can come through Spokane and it's embraced by Spokane. Every show is connected to another um, through whether it's producers, whether it's through booking agents. Uh, Hamilton, for example, is the same agent as Hades Town, which is on our uh, first show of our next season, the same as Dear Evan Hansen. So as I'm working with one show in one season, I'm also starting the negotiations with other productions and other shows to possibly come through in future years. We love having this facility because it, it, is, it, it gets so much praise from not only the people that are coming to watch shows, but from the tours themselves. It has a ton of space, has a lot of amenities backstage, uh, a lot more so than they're used to. When a tour like Hamilton goes out on the road and they're playing a month at a time in one location, they're only playing a handful of cities. Uh, so it might take a couple of years to get to us. We get those shows probably years before we really deserve them uh, because of the success we've had over the years and because of this facility. Not